Hello, this is a video about SQL, which stands for Structured Query Language. Some computer scientists pronounce it SQL, but I'm not as cool as them, and I'm going to just stick with SQL. It's used to manipulate data in a database, meaning it can be used to add new records, edit them, delete them, and to display certain records based on specific criteria, plus much, much more. For the OCR GCSE 2020 specification, however, you just need to know how to select data, and that requires only three commands. I'm going to use the dogs table that you can see here in this video to explain how SQL is used. Before we use SQL, we need to know what a record is. This is a type of data structure used in databases to hold information about a single item, usually one person or one thing. Each row in the table is a record and each column is a field. A field must be a certain data type, such as name in my table, which is a string, and age, which is an integer, because it is a whole number. The records in the dogs table below are all the information about one specific dog, such as Max, who is a Yorkshire Terrier, two years old, and without any allergies. Because records are made up of several fields, they can store data of different data types. A record should also contain a primary key, which allows each record to be uniquely identified. In my example, the primary key is dog ID, just in case there are two dogs called Dottie, both of who are Chihuahuas, both are 11, and both are allergic to fish then the dog ID will separate them so they can be uniquely identified. As mentioned, there are only three SQL commands that you need to be able to use in the 2020 OCR GCSE specification. These are select, from, and where. The select command allows you to choose which fields will be displayed. The from command is used to specify the name of the database table you will be searching through. The where command is your criteria and can use other commands such as and, or OR to narrow down the records to be displayed. In my first example, I'm selecting just the name and breed fields to be shown. You can see that the field names must be separated by a comma, not the word AND or a plus or an ampersand, which is known as the AND symbol, or anything else, it must be a comma between the field names. Next, the FROM command is stating that I want to use the table called DOGS table. Finally, the WHERE command is my criteria, and I want to display information where the name is equal to MAX. Because the name field uses a string data type, I must put MAX in speech marks. On the right, you can see what would happen if I executed this SQL code. It has selected just the name and breed fields, where the name is equal to MAX. In the second example, you'll notice that I've used an asterisk in the SELECT command. This symbol is known as a wildcard, and it selects all fields in the table, saving me time from having to write them all out. I could have written them all out, this is just a shortcut. The from command is the same in all of these examples because I'm using the dogs table each time. The where command is specifying that I want to select dogs with an age greater than or equal to 8. The usual comparison operators work in SQL. Greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, less than or equal to, equal to, and not equal to. Not equal to is exclamation mark equals, just like in Python. Because age is an integer field, because it's a whole number, I do not put speech marks around the value of eight. You can see next to the SQL code what would happen when it is all executed. All the fields are displayed, but just for the dogs who are eight years old or greater, which is Dottie and Oscar. In this third example, I've selected the name, age, and allergies field from the dogs table, but my where command is a bit more complicated. As mentioned earlier, you can use AND or OR in the WHERE statement. I've used OR here to display data about dogs named Oscar or those that are younger than five. With that criteria, it is Max and Oscar that will be selected. You'll notice I've capitalized all SQL commands. It's not technically required, but it does help to show what is a command and what isn't. SQL can be used for many, many more reasons than just selecting certain fields. And if you study the OCR A-level computer science course, you will need to be able to use commands to update, delete, insert, and join records. I wanted to add a bonus example to this video, although this is not in the GCSE specification. This example uses the like command within the where statement, as well as the percentage symbol, which is another wildcard just like the asterisk. The percentage sign represents any number of characters. So in my example, where name like capital M percentage sign will select the names that start with capital M. In this instance, it's just max. You could write where name like percentage sign Y, which would show names ending in Y. And in that example, it would select Dottie. 
If you want to test yourself on your SQL knowledge, you can try the automatic marking quiz linked on the CS News page for this topic, or click directly to the quiz in this video's description. You don't need to sign in, nothing but your score is recorded, and you can see at the end what you got out of 15. I've also put feedback for each incorrect answer, so you can see exactly why you dropped some points.